Hello everybody and welcome to Proton Pulse. This is a game I found while poking around Reddit looking for games that are Dev Kit 2 compatible on the Oculus Rift and uh, I think it's pretty badass. Um, this is a demo, as you can see, for Valkyrie Vanguard V or something like that. I'm not 100% sure how this is all working. This game has absolutely nothing to do with the game that they're actually pulling up on Kickstarter right now. I will show that here next. I've, I've supported the game, the Vanguard V. I have supported the game, and I have the demo of that, which I will show off after this one, but I want to show off this one. The, the links to both these... Well, the links to this game will be in the description, and the link to the Kickstarter for the Valk... Vanguard V will be in the description as well. I did not click, um, it's just showing the demo. I want out. Come on, go away. Thank you. Okay, um, so anyways, um, the first thing I want to say, and the first thing that I noticed about this game is, this is how you do a menu when you're playing with the Oculus Rift. Seriously. All the developers that are actually playing with the Oculus Rift, are developing for the Oculus Rift, take note because this is how you make a menu. The menu stays put and you can look around it. That's how you do it. All right, so let us start this game. And I really, really like the graphics. I like this whole spacey thing. Hmm. All right, so what is this game? Well, uh, Think Breakout, the old Breakout game where you it was a two-dimensional game, but you had the paddle at the bottom that went back and forth, and you bounced a ball to break bricks. Well, that's what this is, just 3D, and you use your eyes, really, to control your paddle, this glass thing that's in front of me right here. Um, I'm not using the mouse or anything, I'm just using the paddle, or I'm just looking around, there we go, for, you, you know, just to move the paddle. Uh, I can click on things, um, I have to use the mouse to click, but that's pretty much it, that's really the only user controls in there outside of, holy crap, that was fast, <laughs> that, that, that was unintentional, um, anyways, yeah, uh, the only other control is the control button, and that's to hard reset the, like, look where you're looking. So it will automatically recenter if you hit the control button. It does that every time you start the game. Boop. So that's, uh... Ugh. Boop. Holy crap. Yeah, and there are boosts, kind of-ish. Um, like, I have guns for my paddle now. I'm trying to get the ball over, but it's not working. And I think the red ones explode. Yes, they do. Alright, this is getting easy after like the 12th time I played this game. I really enjoy this game. This was a very, very well made game. Um, this is probably a perfect example of what the Oculus can do visually. Wow. And uh, just experience-wise in general, I think this is a really good example of what it can do. And I'm really enjoying it. Um, now, I mentioned in the unboxing, I guess I can call it, video, about the ghosting problem. Uh, I have looked into how to fix it, and a lot of what I'm hearing is whoop, about... Um, the refresh rate. The Oculus Rift having its very strange screen, its uh, phone screen, is 75 hertz refresh rate. And I've got a lot of helpful people pointing out in my comments that I have to switch the refresh rate to 75 hertz to get rid of the ghosting. Um, I looked into it and by default my video card set the refresh rate to 75 hertz. So my NVIDIA cards, I forget. What model of NVIDIA card do I have? I forget. 
but my video card automatically detected what kind of screen it was and automatically adjusted it accordingly. Ugh. Oh, I hate it when it does that. <laughs> Bounces back and forth like that. I always had that problem in Punk. Um, boop. Oh, I got lasers. But anyways, um, so it was set already to 75 hertz, and then I went into... Uh, ah. I went into the settings of uh, Euro Truck Simulator, and Euro Truck Simulator was set to the refresh rate of the screen it was on. And of course, it was on the Oculus Rift screen, and it knew it was on the Oculus Rift screen because it didn't go to my main screen by default. Um, but I set it to 75 hertz manually just to, you know, check and make sure. And no, I still had the ghosting problem. Um, now I'm hearing that other people aren't having the ghosting problem. Now that might just be because they don't notice it. I was specifically looking for it, I admit. Um, boop. I'm really enjoying this game. So let's stop talking about the refresh issue and let's talk about the game. I'm not noticing the ghosting issue in this game that much, but I think that's because of the way the game is colored, how the colors are all really bright and flashy. Um, I think that's what I'm seeing here. Boop. And I'm really liking this music. I really, really do. I'll shut up for a moment and let you hear it. It's a rockin' beat. Wait, did I say that right? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm out of touch with today's lingo. Um, the only reason I even have a clue what's popular in music today is because of Weird Al's new album. <laughs> Alright, I've never played this level before. But yes, uh, I would recommend checking this out if you have the Oculus Rift. It's quite enjoyable. Um, it's compatible with the Dev Kit 1 as well. There's a specific version for the Dev Kit 1. So if you have either of the Oculus, I would highly recommend getting this game, because I think this is actually a pretty good example. Oh yeah, apparently it gets sick of me. I don't know what it's doing right now, I really don't. Oh, it's like a paddle ball. Apparently after a certain number amount of time, it gets sick of me, um, you know, taking too much time, and it kind of just does this paddle ball thing, so I can win in Italy. I don't know. But I'm quite enjoying this game. Like I said, I highly recommend it to anybody who wants to see what the Rift can do. Um, and I would point this out. I did mention that I do get pretty seriously motion sick, uh, to the point where I can't be a passenger in a car. Not having a problem. Seriously, I've been playing this for, I don't know, half an hour. Not having a problem at all. So it was just Euro Truck Simulator, apparently. Though it might be the ghosting that I mentioned earlier. It's more noticeable in Euro Truck Simulator because they're going for a much more realistic vibe. Whereas this game is very retro, very, very colorful. Alright, so let's get on to the game that actually matters, the Kickstarter game. And here we are in Vanguard V, or Vanguard 5, or whatever, but the Kickstarter demo that I got for supporting this game. Um, the Kickstarter link will be in the description. You'll have to check the rewards, the, the, the tiers, or whatever, to see how much you have to donate to actually get the access to the demo. I did the $16 one, which gave me access to the demo and a digital download of the live game. Um, and you know what? I think I think this is very much worth it. And I love the reflection. You might not be able to see it in YouTube, but there's a set of eyes in the sky in the reflection. And there's a reason for that. 
and that is wait for it here and you could just Barely see it. Oh, that's actually freaky because I have my hands in front of my face at the same time. But uh, you see your face in the reflection of the HUD. And now we're in a third person view, which is really, really weird. You'll get used to the mirror image. Okay, so basically what's going on is you are that person right there. And you're flying in front of the robot that you were talking to earlier. This bit guy. And you control yourself by looking around. He. And... Apparently everybody in this game is a smartass, but you know, that's okay. The dialogue's actually quite interesting. A little repetitive after the fourth or fifth time you've actually played this game, but I quite enjoy it. Oh, I never noticed that before. Um, the meteors are hitting the planet. Alright, these guys whoo, that shoot at you are parasites. Ow. And basically, they're the bad guys of the game. And what you do is you look at them, and it puts up this red target there. And eventually it fires and kills them. I'm not pushing any buttons, I'm just looking around. Trying to tar ow, target these guys and avoid being shot at the same time. And it's a really interesting concept for a game. Um, I do think... Well, ow. That flying around in this game would be a lot more interesting in first-person view. Whoa. But I think the bit guy was correct when he mentioned about having a problem with situational awareness in first-person view. You can't really see everything in first-person view, so flying around like this would be almost impossible. Uh, well, just by controlling this way, you'd have to pull in a joystick or something. Oh, everything's just exploding all at once. Oh, I am enjoying this game. Um, woo. So far, I've played this Eh, I don't know, four or five times, like I said. And you know what? I think I got my $16 worth, honestly. So uh, following the Nerd Cubed philosophy, is the game worth the money now? Yeah, I'd say this game would be nice, well, worth 16 bucks. Though I think you don't have to spend the $16 to get the demo. Um, whoa, I might be mistaken on this, but I think I heard that if you donate just $1, you get the demo. Um, like I said, I might be mistaken on that. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what I heard. And I don't know if the AI in this game is just really, really good, but it's really hard to dodge the fire in this game. And like I said, I'm trying to figure out if it's the AI that's just good, or this game is cheating by tracking where my head is going and aiming accordingly. Um, but I seem to be—I seem to fly, whoa, just about as erratically as I can, sometimes, and it's still kind of hard to do. Yeah, you can also run into the parasites and kill them that way. And apparently my bullets go through asteroids. Who knew? Whew. Well, probably the guy that made the weapon, but you know, whatever. I tried to dodge that. I failed. Boom, Diana. I love the smell of rocket fuel in the morning. If you had spent more time with the training module and less on the information networks, you wouldn't need so much rocket fuel in the first place. This game is so pretty. 
It is. It is really good. Whoa. Oh! Holy crap! I died! That's a first. <laughs> okay. Um, and I guess it resets? Yeah, it resets to the beginning of the level. Okay. This might seem logical, but I've learned you're not always driven by common sense. So keep your heat shield functioning, or things will get very hot. I didn't know that you could die in this game. I never, I never did that before. Eh, whatever. Um, so yes, I would highly recommend this game. Um, if you have a dev kit, uh, the DK1, I, you know what, I have no idea if this is compatible with the DK1, um, but if you have a DK2, definitely, definitely pick this up. This thing is worth it. I think this shows a pretty good example of how good the Oculus Rift can be. Um, and as I mentioned in uh, Proton Pulse, I'm starting to lose track. This is the second time I've actually recorded this episode. Whoa. Because in Oculus Direct mode, uh, this game didn't record at all. So I've got to be... Whoa. So I had to record it again. So I'm a little... I'm a little out of it right now, but I would point this out. This is the second time I've done this, and I'm not motion sick at all. Um, that is unusual for me. The DK1, I'd get motion sick in like two minutes. But it, yo, know, so far this is actually pretty good. So I would highly recommend this game. Uh, it shows what the Oculus Rift can do, or at least gives a general idea of what the Oculus can do. Um, and yeah, if you want, if you have one, I would recommend this game. I say go for it, do it, support these people. Uh, they are asking kind of a ridiculous amount. Um, they're asking for like $190,000. They might be able to make it. This is worth the money. Um, I don't know if... My support of them would help at all, honestly. But if we get the word out and we get some of the bigger YouTubers like Total Biscuit or Nerd Cube, they could get they could get supported easily. So I will end this episode here. Woo. And I will let you discover what happens at the end of the level. And I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game, and have fun. Now I'm going to go finish this level because I enjoy it that much. <laughs>